What's up guys, I'm Nico from Crunch, and in today's video I want to talk about deliberate practice. Practicing frequently and not just you know shooting a lot, but practicing with purpose. Looking to improve every time you take a new shot. So the reason why I want to, to make this video is because, you know, a lot of people ask me how I learned photography and, you know, how I sort of got, um, you know, good at photography quickly. And when I was younger, one of the reasons why I thought I got good pretty quickly is because it's, you know, photography and not just photography, but the visual arts in general is just an area that I learn quickly in. You know, I don't sing or dance or do any performing arts type sort of stuff. Uh, there are very few things that I'm, you know, good at, but I, I do think that um, the visual arts is something that uh, I learned pretty quick in. Now, I do think that is true, but one thing that I never really gave credit to is the amount of practice that I did. And part of it was because I didn't realize I was practicing so much uh, in the beginning. When I was in high school, I was that kid that took my camera with me every single day to school and I'd come home with 50 or more shots on my memory card. New shots almost every single day. Sometimes I'd come home with like 300 plus new shots. And every single day I would put those, car put those shots onto my computer, I'd edit those shots, I'd delete the ones that weren't good, and I'd look, you know, I'd look through all of them, see what worked and see what didn't work. And this is something I did just because I really loved taking pictures. Again, I was that guy that took my camera with me to school every single day. You know, I didn't realize just how much, how many pictures I was taking, uh, the amount of pictures I was taking and the amount that I was learning from taking so many pictures. A lot of people will tell you to, you know, slow down, don't take too many pictures, think about every single shot. And it's true that you need to think about your shots, but I think that taking a lot of shots in today's world is very underrated because the only way you can really learn from shots is to take them in the first place, you know? You can do as much research as you want, you can think about your shots as much as you want, but until you do your photography, until you take those shots, you can never really know how they're going to turn out or how you can make them better or why they don't work or why they do work. Which is why I think, you know, you should take as many shots as you can. Of course, again, thinking about those shots that you take, reviewing them and learning from them. After, you know, three years of taking my camera to school all the time, I think I got my DSLR when I was a sophomore. I took, you know, a whole bunch of shots and that, you know, taking my camera to school daily and taking pictures of random stuff, that didn't include all the events that I covered, um, not just in school, but out of school as well. Uh, I, I worked for different publications. You know, I helped a lot of people out and I just tried to learn as much as possible. And again, whenever I did something new, I always looked through my shots and I learned from them. And I tried to take more shots of the same kind and try to improve from them. I guess my point is that you know, you can watch my videos or any other videos on YouTube and you can learn from them. You can read as much as you want, but you can never, there's no substitute for just taking the image and learning from it. You can plan as much as you want, but again, there's no substitute for just practicing, deliberate practice and making improvements from the shots that you've already taken. I'll be the first to admit that the amount that I've taken, the amount of shots that I've taken in the past probably four to five years is not even a fraction of what I took, not even you know a small fraction of what I took in the four, first three to four years that I was taking images. And you know, a lot of stuff got in the way and a lot of it was just sort of, you know, my interest, you know, dying down a little bit, not just because it died down, but because I was interested in a lot of other stuff. But I, I sort of want to change that, and with that, I'm starting something new. It's a new Instagram account where I want to share my photos, but not just my photos. I want to share your photos as well uh, using a certain hashtag. Now, this new Instagram account is going to be called CamCrunch365. It symbolizes just taking pictures or video, you know, I'll share videos as well, uh, with your camera every single day. Now, I know shooting every single day is tough, but I encourage you guys to publish something at least 
every day. So it could be something that you've taken, you know, a few days back, a few weeks back, a few months back, but posting something new, uh, that also helps in the process. And that's something that I'll talk about in the next few days uh, as well. So again, this new Instagram account is campcrunch365. Hashtag your photos or videos with campcrunch365, hashtag campcrunch365. And I'll share the best ones, the ones that I think will inspire the community uh, to share mo more photos. Of course, I'll you know, post all your account details and all that sort of good stuff uh, so that people follow you as well. But I want this to turn into something big and something that inspires people to just go out and take more photos. So yeah, I hope this video didn't bore you. I hope you guys got something out of it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.